We've had a couple of uh, interesting days here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we're in front of the Grand Mosque at the moment. And it's really, really hot. And this was about the only shade I could find, so you'll have to forgive the blown out image in the background. It's far too hot to hang around here. All right, so I'm probably being a bit dramatic there, but it was really, really hot. Anyway, that was near the end of our time in Abu Dhabi, so let's skip back a little. We arrived early on the Saturday morning and had a little time to kill before heading to the Arabian Nights village. So we spent most of the morning just doing all your usual touristy stuff. We had a look at the Emirates Palace, which is a pretty spectacular seven-star hotel. It's probably not a place you want to visit on a tight budget. I dare say you could spend $100 on a coffee and croissant. We tried wandering through town, but the heat in summer is absolutely unbearable. We wound up hiding for a couple of hours in a shopping centre, in refuge from the heat. Come 3pm, it was time to meet with our driver, who took us to the Arabian Nights Village for an overnight safari. Now the safari pretty much included everything that you would expect for an authentic Bedouin experience. There was of course the obligatory riding of the camels. Uh, there was quad bike riding. And I think the highlight of the trip for both of us was most certainly the dune bashing. While off on this four-wheel drive adventure, we did actually visit a genuine Bedouin camel farm. Surprisingly, these uh, desert uh, tribes people were doing a lot less quad biking and four-wheel driving than what we were. Accommodation didn't look quite as plush as ours either. But hey, we didn't really begrudge the fact that it wasn't a genuine Bedouin experience. We were having a frickin' ball. Some of those dunes were just insane. Arabian Nights Village is nestled in the desert, about 90 minutes outside of Abu Dhabi. Despite its remote location, it still has all of the modern conveniences that one would expect. The price of an overnight safari includes the cost of dinner, accommodation and all activities. Mm. 
After our overnight stay at the Arabian Nights village, we would drop back into town. We had a little time to kill before our flight that evening, so we decided to go check out the Grand Mosque. Now, while I definitely recommend visiting the place, it is worth noting the heat there was absolutely unbearable. And there's no air conditioning inside the mosque or even shade around it to get away from the sun. Ultimately, we really enjoyed our time in Abu Dhabi, but I think it's a place probably better visited in winter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and keep an eye out because the next one should be coming from somewhere in Europe.